started out like a totally normal day. I love you. I mean, I guess I was a little sweaty and I was definitely sore. I thought I had gas. Turns out I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of my heart and I tell the women in my life to do the same. Sounds great, by the way. That's nice, sweetie, but that's not my heart. That is. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. That same story is being lived out by women across the country. Every one of them a different age, hair color, or genetic makeup, but all of them has one thing in common, heart disease. February is National American Heart Month, and to shed light on the fact that heart disease is the number one killer of women in America, the National Heart Association is spreading knowledge and awareness about the signs and symptoms of heart disease in women. Friday is National Wear Red Day, and here to share more about how to go red for women and save lives is the director of the Women's Heart Advantage program at the Sutter uh, Heart and Vascular Institute and American Heart Association spokesperson is Dr. Diane Sapkovich. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thanks for having us. Nice to meet you. So uh, tell us what Go Red is. Go Red for Women is a movement for women, by women, and it was started in um, 2004, mm -hmm. and it's to empower women, to give them knowledge and to bring awareness that heart disease is the number one killer of women. And since 1984, more women have died of heart disease than men. So this is why it's so important to educate women uh, about heart disease. This is very interesting. So what's going on in February? February is National Go Red Month. Mm. So across the nation, everything is lit up in red. And again, it brings awareness to women for heart disease prevention. Now I see you're wearing your red earrings, your blazer, and you even have socks socks. with hearts. Socks. Uh, very, very nice. <laughs> so uh, is there an event happening here in Sacramento? Yes, on Friday. Okay. It's free and it's sponsored by the Southern Heart and Vascular Institute and it has free health screenings. Um, there's even a fashion show with real women, heart disease survivors, and yours truly, so it should be interesting. Really? And there, there's a number of things, but again, awareness. And the whole thing is to empower women. I mean, this, this is our lives. We need to be proactive in taking care of ourselves. Very, very important. So, uh, doctor, what about some symptoms? that women can look out for? Well, and a lot of people now, a lot of women now are becoming more aware that heart disease is the number one killer, but only one in five think it'll happen to them. Of course. And so the things to look out for, the main thing is you have to listen to your body. You have to pay attention if you're having some chest discomfort, jaw discomfort, some women get in the middle of their back. The main thing that I see in my patients is fatigue. They're going up the stairs and they're kind of thinking, oh, I'm getting older. Right. But, you know, they're only, you know, 40, 50 years old. But it turns out that that's the first symptom of heart disease, that their body just can't do it. That's amazing. Um, and frightening, of course. Yes. So um, what are, are some, uh, some things that people can do, women can do, to avoid these kind of problems, kind of uh, preventative maintenance, if you will? The, the number one thing to be aware of is 80% of heart disease can be avoided. Okay, that's good. That's good 80%. news. 80%. Okay, so we can do it. We just have to have the knowledge and have to put it into fruition there. So exercising, of course, everyone knows that exercising, at least 30 minutes, at least four days a week. And it's not a matter of going fast. It's just being a matter of endurance. Right. And eating. Everyone knows now, you know, you, you limit your cholesterol intake. 200 milligrams or less a day is your goal. And look at your family history. Family history, you mm. can't change your family history. But if your parents had high blood pressure, if your parents had high cholesterol, or your brother, your sister, or diabetes, know your numbers. Check with your doctor. What's your cholesterol? What's your blood pressure? What's your blood sugar? So all those things you have to pay attention to. Very important. Uh, now, why should women go red or join the movement? Well, the women that have joined Go Red, 90% of them have made healthy choices changes in their lifestyle. Over 30% have lost weight. Um, we're talking about dietary changes, talking to your doctor. So again, it, it brings this to awareness and empowers women. It's like, okay, this is what I need to do. Okay, excellent. So uh, the website is GoRed.org? GoRed.org. GoRed.org. Visit that. And doctor, thank you so much for all. There's the website right there. Thank you so much for joining us. Great information. And thanks for joining us.